All right, everyone, I thought I'd slip in a quick energetic weather forecast for the equinox because the equinox is this year, and I said it back at the spring equinox. These are some powerful. These are, I haven't seen equinoxes. I didn't see a spring equinox like that for quite some time. Very powerful. Well, the, the fall equinox, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the spring equinox, whatever, the one we're on now here in September, um, is equally as powerful in more of an equal and opposite reaction sort of way. But um, equinoxes balance the energy. And some people say, well, it's just the sun crossing the equator. It just keeps, you know, the day and night are the same. Everything is energy, right? And, when something, and the sun is a powerful influence. So when something like that happens, you do have a rebalancing. It's very interesting. I've got a pre-shuffle here. Um, we'll talk about it. So, right, so if you're, if you, especially if you're having a tough time with the equinox, right? Maybe, so, so well, it could be some health issues, some personal issues, things along those lines. Either way, pay attention because it's a very powerful equinox. Um, general reading may or may not resonate with you, but these are the energies around us. If you're here, you're here for a reason, and this is timeless. The equinox doesn't need to affect you right now. In fact, the energy of it tends to carry out right up till about, well, in, in this one's case, the middle of October. So some time between now and then, depending on where you are on your timeline, it could affect you. But for a lot of people, it's just before the equinox. Like for me, I tend to feel the equinoxes about a week before they happen and about out to about two weeks after they happen. Okay? That's me. You might be different. You may pick up on it sooner or later. I don't know. Either way, here's what's going on. I got a pre-shuffle first. Uh, just the surface energy, just what's happening here. Or I, I more ask the universe why it's happening, okay? I've got Eight of Cups, crossed by the Magician, Queen of Cups, the Strength card, and the World. The most powerful card I could pull, bookending the Eight of Cups here. Just looking at this as a poker hand, all right? Just looking at the energy here. Um, I, don't, I don't tend to use the Oracle decks or things like that, but I know a lot of you watch people that do use those. Uh, this would be this would be an energy of one of the cards they have in those decks called the Angel of Balance. Okay, uh, it's very very angelic energy, but it comes from within. Uh, a lot of it is coming from you, so your your body might be alerting you to things. Or again, as I've been saying, pay attention to the signs. It's a lot of brown feather energy, which is encouraging everybody to pay attention to the signs that you're receiving, whether they're health indicators, whether they're personal indicators, whatever it is. Uh, your emotions and your intuition is very high right now. I will also tell you with this equinox, everybody watching. No matter who you are, is an extremely powerful manifester, right? It's not about what you think, it's about what you feel. And sometimes we apply those feelings to thoughts, okay? So be careful about that. Be careful about, you can think whatever you want. You can think, oh, I, I suck, I'm terrible. As long as you don't really feel that about yourself from the soul, right? So be careful. Careful what you wish for under this energy. Um, yeah, energy around us is rebalancing, all right? It's, it's out with the old and in with the new. And why is that happening primarily? Well, we got the death card here, right? Transformation. I got transformation here. We're walking away from eight broken cups. We're also moving on from this, right? Three swords. This is very interesting. Very, very powerful equinox. I know a, a lot of people around me in my life are, uh, are having some issues with it. They're laid up in bed or something like that. You know, a couple of them are. Yeah, it can do that to you. The equinox. Science is just catching up to energy readers and astrologers. Science is just catching up now. All of a sudden, if you were to go back 20, 30 years ago, seasonal, seasonal disorders with, you know, not feeling good at season changes and stuff like that, that was all a bunch of hooey, a bunch of hocus pocus. Now it's a thing. Now it's, it, it, they know it's an actual thing. And it is. It always has been. It was never hooey. Uh, the, everything is energy. You have to remember that. And that includes equinoxes. It's a powerful energy. It's very angelic this year. I think that's why it's so powerful. Uh, I didn't really figure that out in the spring one, but I'm kind of getting it now. It's a lot of angel energy. And as I tell you guys, angels are badasses, right? Angel energy is like a goo. It's like really thick, really tough energy. Uh, d devil energy is just static. You know, wipe your feet on the carpet, shock your friend kind of thing. That's all. So let's go. Let's see where we go here. There's not a spot of devil energy around it, I'll tell you. Um, and even if there is, 
you know, even if you see things as devil energy, things that are happening to you, try not to. You're more powerful than that. Okay, the angelic energy that's around will short that out really quickly. All right. I always try to tell you guys to stay neutral. But in this case, if you are focused too much on the negative here during the equinox, refocus yourself in the other direction and you'll see a drastic change very quickly. All right. All right. I'm shuffling. Give me three cards and a bottom card on the energies around us here at the equinox. Fall in the northern hemisphere, spring in the southern hemisphere. All right. I don't like to leave out my southern hemisphere people. I, I know I got a lot of you here. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah. It's a slow burn. It really is. It's a night of pentacles. Things that have lingered for a while are clearing out. Okay? It's time for some things. To, you saw that eight of cups in the pre-shuffle, right? It's time for some things to go. Things that have lingered for a while. He's got a racehorse. He could be going a lot faster. The knight of pentacles, no matter what deck you pull it from, they could be going a lot faster than they are. That's one of the themes of the card. It is a methodical energy, yes, but things that have lingered, the environmental energy is clearing them out. He's reached, as I notice here with the card, he's reached the end. He's just about at his destination. All right. Wow. Wow. A lot of healing, fueling that, and four wands. Sets you on a new path. That four wands has been representing a new path that's been coming up for quite a while in my readings, if you've been paying attention. All my readings tie together. I'm just following the energy. Let's go. Three cards. Knight of Wands. Whew. Center card. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I even pull this card, which is red with the Knight of Wands, it will, will be, um, I've got all that energy I showed you, the healing, things that have lingered for a while are clearing out. Your job here is just to sit in it. Allow it to flow. Do not try to fight Equinox energies. Definitely not this year. Do not. Do not try to. Do, do not. Just, just sit there. Just sit in the energy. Allow it to do what it's doing. If you fight it, it's a waste of energy. All you're doing is wasting, wasting, wasting energy. Like I said, if you're focused on the negative, you're inviting that under this energy for sure. Okay? What's red with the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, the Page of Wands. Um, this is my party girl in this deck, and this is her older sister. Okay? So these two cards kind of go together here. Um, it's just talking about how you should view these changes that are happening around you. All right? It is, sometimes these are bad cards of emotional immaturity and things like that, especially this one. It's not really the case here. It's saying just sit in it. Just allow this energy to flow. It's doing a job. It's, it's here for a reason. Now, we're going to pull on this Queen of Swords. All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to switch decks real quick. I'm going to switch. Get the urge to do it. I'm going to do it. Tell me about, I'm going to talk to the witches. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Let's go. Because this is what's happening. This is the base energy. Right? And, and in this deck here, she's sitting, sword in the sheath, just contemplating. Think about it. If, if, if you're getting signs, what do I mean by that? If you're getting signs of something, you know, look at it. Don't, don't fear it. That's just inviting, that's, that's inviting devil energy in. Just, just sit there and look at it and go, hmm, what is this trying to tell me? What is that trying? A lot of you do that anyway. A lot of you look for signs and things like that. Well, this is an energy you definitely should be doing that in. Okay? Definitely. All right. Let's go. Ask, question the energy. Ask, what is this energy trying to show me? What are these? Well, why is this happening? Why is that happening? And you figure it out. Right? You figure it out. All right. Here we go. Queen of Swords. Why is it here? <whistles> Lovers. In some decks, this used to be called the choice, right? The universe is providing you with an opportunity to use your free will properly. And you're not using it properly if you're too focused on the negative or even too focused Pollyanna style on the positive. Try to remain as neutral as possible, definitely. But if you are fixated on the negative, try a drastic approach of turning the other way, all right? But the universe is providing you with an opportunity here. It's opportunity energy, all right? That's all. It's up to your free will. Uh, I'm going to do a standard clarifier here. What's on top? Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Tower. Yeah. I was just about to say it, but I figured I'd check myself. Anyway, it's Tower. Either something has happened or will happen under this. For some of you, again, these signs, they're pointing you to things that maybe you've ignored 
or maybe you have uh, things that again that those eight broken cups things that don't belong things that are superficial to your going down a new path we have that new path here with the four of wands we have a lot of healing but you need to sit in this energy to take full advantage of it um, yeah again a tower is falling on anything that you don't need anymore it's an easy way to put it this is a superficial energy it's a superficial person right materialism and things like that I'm not talking about that specifically because the uh, the equinox is affecting all of you differently for a great number of people it's affecting them in in in, in um, how they view themselves that Queen of Cups type energy the emotions your your emotional state how you look at life right that kind of thing um, anything that's superficial anything that you don't need anymore the tower is falling on okay and you're being encouraged to be that queen right there male or female all right let's uh, let's see where you're going let's see where you're going I'm gonna pull on the page of wands which will take this knight of wands energy with it let's go page of wands why is it here it's new adventures can be and then I'm gonna pull one more little tiny little one card and a crossing card little reading on some of this energy why is the page of wands here why Oh, I know what this is. Yep. The Eight of Pentacles. It's about you. It's redirecting your focus where it matters instead of where it doesn't. That's what these two cards are talking about. That's the phrase I was trying to find. That's the way to explain it I was trying to find. All right, th this matters here. Okay? You're being pointed in directions that matter, and they may seem odd at first. They may seem like a risk, a brave, impulsive action on your part. Just go with the energy. Go with the flow of it. Okay, it's very balanced. It is very, very balanced. Um, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, things that matter. This gets to the Nine of Pentacles after that, right? The liberation, if you will. Uh, what's, what's on top? Yeah, there's the devil. There he is. Why is the devil here? The world. See? Again, every time I get superficial, I get a tower falls on it. I get a devil, I get the most powerful card I could pull as to why it's there. This is changing. The light. You're being shown things, saying the same, it says the same thing. You're being shown, this is the angel light coming in, that angel of balance. If, if you have one of those oracle decks, that's probably what would come up. The angel of balance is shining a light on what you no longer need, allowing you to move in new directions and see the world. I'm going to use the phrase breath of fresh air with a breath of fresh air. When this equinox clears, and I, I get that from my, well, from my Q4 reading, where I talked about October a little bit, we'll see it a little bit in the October readings, which are coming up. But yeah, you're going to see life from a whole new light. All the things that plagued you, bothered you, could be health problems, could be uh, spiritual issues, could be emotional issues, all of it. Job issues, it could be, it's going to vary for all of you. You see them in a new light. It allows you to really move in a new direction with a little bit more joy than you've had before, possibly. Okay? Uh, the world, very auspicious energy here. But you have to pay attention to this. These people here on this card are still trying not to look when this light is shining in on this devil, which is no big deal. I said, devil energy is just static. It's nonsense. Angel energy is badass. It's like a goo. You know, it's, it shorts it right out, that devil energy. These two are still trying not to look at this. There are going to be some things that come up that you don't want to look at, either about yourself or about situation or whatever it is. You've got to look at it. Acknowledgement is the first step to healing. Four of Swords, right there. Okay? Um, let me pull. I'm going to switch decks. So, yep, that's what's going on. It's a very powerful equinox. I got a couple of friends that are just laid up in bed for it. Oh, I got aches and this and that, and oh my God, and this and that. Just trying to tell you something. Pay attention. Go see a doctor if you need to, but pay attention to what the energies are trying to tell you here. And be careful. You're all powerful manifestors here. You start thinking the worst, you're going to manifest the goddamn worst. So I don't normally encourage people to be positive, but if you can't be neutral, try it. All right? Rather than focus on the negative in this equinox energy. I'm going to pull one card and a crossing card here. What do you want to tell me, universe, about... Uh, this particular equinox in general. That's what I'm asking. All right? Sort of a, in my regular readings, hidden energy message from the universe. That's basically what I'm pulling right now. A little message from the universe. What's the fickle old gal universe won't tell us? All right? We'll see. I'm going to use the animal deck here. 
see where we go. Oh, 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 okay. All right, we're not done. Oh, okay. All right. Page of Swords is the bottom card with a Ten of Wands. All right, what's on top? Queen of Wands again, same thing. Same fucking thing. Except this time, the environmental energy around the Queen of Wands is the Page of Swords. Um, how do I phrase this? Let's talk about over here where I said you come out if you if you have the bravery to, you know, brave impulsive action. If you have the bravery to look at what the angel energy is trying to show you, right? Whatever it is for you, right? You come out in a new light, right? You come out uh, looking at the world differently, seeing things for in a new way with a definitely a little bit more joy, right? We talked about that. Well, over here again, uh, is the opposite of that. The universe is saying the result of that, if you look at the devil, is, is, is the opposite as well. In other words, the things that may be, the, the superficial things, the nonsense things that used to bother you, used to drag you down, used to focus on, or you thought were important. Maybe things you thought were important before, you no longer do. You find them to be a bit of a disappointment. You start looking at new things, other things. Also, if there's any end all be alls in your life you may start to see those differently as this equinox energy starts to fade out and again this energy generally speaking we got the equinox happening tomorrow i think on the 23rd right that's where it's peaking the energy tends to last right up through about the first couple of weeks of october it's still kind of working itself out kind of a thing like that so and that's and that and that jives with the energy as well. I've been talking about even in my Q4 reading. I talked about October doesn't really kick in till around the 12th, till after the 1010 portal. And this is part of that reason. This e this particular equinox energy, underneath that is is 10 wands. Yeah, you won't be able to see things the same anymore. You'll be disappointed by what used to, what you you might be disappointed in what you used to focus on or how you used to focus on it. And what it is is going to vary for all of you. I've given a few examples here, but there are endless examples. Only you know. You know what needs to go. If you take the brave step in this equinox energy, whatever it is for you, if you take the brave step of letting something go, that will allow you to move forward, okay, up to the next level for sure. No doubt about it. All right. That's your reading. It is a powerful equinox. We got a tower on the table. We got the world card on the table twice. It came up in the uh, 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 pre-shuffle as well. This is powerful shit. All you got to do is don't be afraid to look at that. Look at what the angel energy is, is, is showing you. Um, and just think about it. Right? Try to figure out. Just you, won't, you don't figure anything out in a frantic state or too negative or even too positive. Try to be as neutral as you can, all right? Because this is this again. A lot of people right now focus on the wrong things, and you might be one of them without realizing it. Okay, or you're focusing on the right things in the wrong way. That's very common too. All right, new perspective, a lot of perspective coming for sure. All right, that is uh, your reading. I hope it was helpful. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let me see one more. What else? Give me one more. Come on. I got, I got nothing else to do. What the hell? It's powerful enough energy. It's got to be something else. I want to talk about this because there's another energy here with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. And I know a lot of people already turned off. The moment I say that's your reading, they gone. Right? Well, now I got less people here. There's an energy here of you'll be watched. Somebody very attracted to you under this energy. And they're going to get a new perspective on what's held them back. And actually, I think they make a move. Let's find out. Give me that uh, side B, the B side energy here of the Queen of Wands crossed by the Page of Swords. Give me the B side. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right there. Let's go. Give me the B side. Uh-huh. what I tell you? Ace of Cups is the environmental energy. Hey, I ask. You for the fickle old gal. Yeah, that universe and I, we're old friends. Uh, Ace of Cups here. Somebody under this energy, somebody who's been afraid to, to approach, very attracted to you, definitely will approach. I say definitely. Uh, it, the, some, some won't. Some will still be afraid to look at what the angel energy is showing. But if they follow through with the equinox energy, yeah, six of swords, knight of swords, there's that message coming in. It's crossed by the ace of cups. And uh, what's read with the six of swords? Six of pentacles. Yep. 
uh, they see things in a new light. This could apply to your runner or some sort of new soulmate, which has been coming up a lot lately in the readings. Okay, this just this reads as new love. So in other words, it doesn't have to be a new person. It's new love. You find out how someone feels, right? You definitely find out how someone feels when those feelings were withheld, probably because of this devil energy, which if it is the runner, it's probably their usual abandonment issue, hangups and things like that. They get dropped in this energy. So, and also with this tower, something to an energy attached to you, something happens that causes them to reevaluate their life. Definitely coming up here. Definitely been coming up in the readings. At the end of the day here, this person, whoever this is, giving to you makes you feel really good. It really does. This is a, this is a smooth energy here. This is very nice. So it boosts your confidence as well in another layer of energy that's there. That's your triple reading here. Maybe quadruple. I don't know. Uh, that's your reading. Um, so I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Fuel in this Ace of Cups is the Five of Cups, one of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. But also, this person, again, that backs up my read on that it, and about it making you feel good. This, when this person reveals their feelings for you, and, and this could be a new person, it just could make your day, right, kind of a thing. Um, this is also somebody here who's sitting in this energy when they don't reveal their feelings. Right. So this, this equinox energy is playing a big part in the readings that have led up to this reading. So keep that in mind. It's a very powerful equinox. All right. But yep, that's your reading. All right. Good luck.